harvest was in full swing. I was unloading a truck and there was a, an explosion. I got hit with this fireball. At that point, I didn't realize how hurt I was. There was a secondary explosion, and by that point, I was starting to feel the pain. Went to the hospital, they took care of me very well. They determined I had 30% burns to my entire body. They notified STARS because of the extent of my burns. They were also very worried that my airway would uh, close up. Being caught into a, a flash explosion like that, you typically breathe, breathe it in and your airways swell up. So they didn't want me to be on the ambulance which is about oh, a little over two hour drive and have my airway start restricting. Maybe 40 kilometers or so back, maybe 10 minutes flying time, I started to see a little wisp of smoke on the horizon. It wasn't until we were almost right over the city that we could see uh, the extent of what, what, what had happened. It was very, very dramatic. We had a fundraiser after this event to raise money for the local fire departments. As appreciation thank you, they uh, gave the fire chiefs a book of a time lapse of the actual fire of the elevator. It's pretty amazing overall that the, the, the damage that occurred and, and the fact that at the end of the day there was really only one significant yeah. injury. Um, I also have a, quite a few pictures on my phone. I spent 18 days in the burn ward. Being at the hospital for 18 days, I can just remember seeing the helicopter come in. and It was an alarming raid how many times they fly in. Before the accident happened, like you hear stars come in, but you kind of just don't think of it. And then uh, when I had to use it, and then I, I wanted to come and see this. I wanted to come and say thank you. We're just thankful that he got the right care at the right time, and we were able to uh, be part of that. I'm doing better. Uh, I'm healthy now. and in a large part to you guys.